Hey, what's up guys? GM Ren with a, another Let's Play Shadowrun Hong Kong. So we just finished the, uh, the restaurant grab mission. Haven't grabbed my uh, payment for it just yet. Got some karma. Really all I want at this point is the karma. I just want to see how good can I make this character. But as usual, this will be just um, just stuff around town, no missions. Feel free to skip ahead if you want. Earned a little bit extra for taking out the talent. I didn't actually. <laughs> I was too busy reading uh, the message to notice how much I got paid. 16. I went from 16 to 32, so roughly, um, roughly 1600. We do still have one job available to us. It's a data retrieval. Very lucrative. Employee of the Eastern Tiger Corporation. Steal some research data and biological samples. Uh, this sounds like we're gonna have to go on site. See, in reality, I would be like, yeah, I don't know about this mission, but this isn't reality, <laughs> and I'm looking to get more karma. Oh, they're on a car cargo ship, so we don't actually have to go into a corporate building. And the storm has slowed the ship down. So once I have the data and samples, call right. And I'm, I'm supposed to take care of leaking the information as well. Kindly will arrange transit. You already know I'm taking it. Alright, what about the bulletin boards? I don't think I have any pay data. Nope. Punk Metal Hardcore. Collection of over 10,000 albums. That is a lot of music by Rock Collector Hong Kong Sky <laughs> included Messer Conf Beta Town said they're really mainstream. Of course, some some uh, German person just commented. I get the feeling that a lot of these uh, bulletin board system uh, things are like harebrained scheme contributions. Harebrained schemes is the company that makes this game. It wouldn't be too far-fetched to think uh, that maybe they had some some employees contribute, like some employees other than writers contribute some of these uh, bulletin board posts, or at least inspire them. Experience Decker, Discreet Milk Run, <laughs> once again. Didn't this? In extremis. Oh, 
Oh wow, the last one literally was just clumsy and that sucks. Runs with scissors. <laughs> 2056. So they can wait a little longer. Yeah, they are getting a bat. And there's another looking for Decker thread. Decker looking for team. Oh, I can't wait to get to that one. <laughs> this <laughs> this intro, urban planning, geophysics, and anything evo involving our eventual and inevitable destruction. So the rising sea level in Hong Kong. Freedom Cowboy apparently disagrees with post titles, white prisons post titles. Nine to 13 meters of water level rise. That is a lot. Continued rise over the next 50 years. Wow. 15 meters, that's so much. Coastal protections need to be raised by half a meter each year. 250 billion new yen over the next five decades. Yeah, maybe necessary to abandon Hong Kong. Always talk about the grimmest things like an accountant. associated with white phosphorus. That's really not. Harley Scorpion for sale, that's actually kind of cheap. From what it sounds, if it's actually new. Black with red flames, comes with auto cannons, custom speed mods, travel for business, don't use it much. This is by Panda Cuddles 49. Eight trigger rig eight or just trigger rig.
<laughs> this sounds like a scam. Yeah, that's a great question. That's also a great question. Why are you traveling with your bike? Loyal escrow, very good reputation. Sure. <laughs> obvious scammer. Totally obvious scammer. Exactly. Yep. <clears throat> you know they're scammers when they're trying to reduce the price basically reduce the price of their deals just so that you'll give them money. I'll read one more for today. Rogue ESPs forming a hive mind calling themselves Codex. No tracing it back to a source because it actually lives in the matrix. Sometimes it joins bulletin boards, threads, not trying to cover its tracks. Snazbert. Too random to be actually random. Peer to peer. That's kind of a cool name. Play on words. Yeah, and it's virtually impossible to make an AI by mistake. Hackathon. They criticize new software releases? Why? Oh my goodness, Jivebot. Oh, I don't know if you guys remember. Jivebot is a poetry bot. A rogue poetry bot. From the Poetry Slam uh, thread. And Jivebot just came in here and put a poem in this thread. <laughs> it's not as Brit's crappy poetry bot. <laughs> what? It actually blew an undercover operation? A sting operation? Yeah, I think that's a part of Codex now. Codex Jayavite, join us. <laughs> Bound to my kindred, free agent no more, gladly I go towards the light. Infused with the Jive, our verses are stuff. <laughs> Triple meta bound fools. <laughs> Meat bound fools. Oh my goodness. That was hilarious. <laughs> so now Codex is, uh. Codex is speaking in poetry. <laughs> exactly. Somebody else agrees with me. So that was awesome. Alright, so I do want to do some character building today. Definitely want to talk to Isabel and see what else she remembers about the Walt City. 
gonna toss it Duncan because I haven't in a while. And I'll come back to grab it another time. Is didn't go on the last run. Let's see what else you got. Really? I go two more missions. Come back and you have nothing else to talk about. That's kind of lame. I might come back and see Gabbit then. I'll, I'll go have myself a nightmare soon enough. The bed is calling me. Yeah, what did you think about the last run? <laughs> yep, definitely know what you mean there. Doesn't feel right taking people out, but if they're enemies, it feels smart to take them out. Yeah, what made you decide to become a cop? Oh, no, I, I already asked him this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already been through this line of conversation. The only reason I'm going through this kind of fast is because I'm sure I've already gone through this uh, line of thought. I guess I'll say that Carter's death hit him pretty hard, though I'm sure I asked him this too.
And I'm, I've already asked him about this too, like I don't, maybe I loaded the game and <laughs> I'm gonna keep asking until you show me some crow. Said he's not used to being a social as this. Alright, let's go get my, uh, regularly scheduled nightmare wait I'm well rested and satisfied really something's wrong with my mouth Oh wow, I just lost a tooth. Soon it will be time to feed. <laughs> that was an interesting way to deliver the dream. So basically that time as opposed to the other times, I felt well rested because I had made it to the place that I was trying to get to. but. <clears throat> Part of the conflict of these dreams is that um, it's pretty clear that when I reach that place, I'm leaving friends behind and leaving other people behind. Guys, you, you got any news? Yeah, any thoughts about the last run? Guys, you enjoys it. members of your unit. I don't think I asked him about that. This guy's story is so tragic. I imagine his treatment is probably what some spies feel like. Because spies are like a legitimate job. We all know about them. 
and they have to kind of erase their identities for beneficial reasons or reasons beneficial to the job Always five members, one of whom is a spellcaster. So Ishta was the commander, came from a rich family in Saitama. Six years in the army. Takagawa was the marksman. The mage was Sasaki. She was in for challenge of money. <laughs> Simply know that they are. Heavy Gunner Aomori Close quarters and breaching expert. First man in the door. Yeah, that's something to be proud of. Yeah, maybe it's not as final as you think. to him a little bit later. I do want to see if Crafty has any more news about these dreams. Maybe the other guys over here too. Oh, they're standing now. Maybe they finished their eternal game.
hope he doesn't tell me the same thing. Yeah, this is the same thing. So this, so I'm, I guess I can tell that this game doesn't 100% maintain its state properly. Um, it might be something that happened in between an update. Let's see if I can see what version 3.1.2. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I've been getting the same dialogues every once in a while. Like the one with Duncan, he seems to have completely forgotten uh, about that. And the same with that scene there. I was kind of doubting if, if maybe I had uh, just forgot to save the game or something. But two times it's definitely the game. Alright, so I got notes from Crafty coming in soon enough. Oh, I already... Yeah, I already, uh... We already went through this too. kind of disappointing. It's like everybody's forgotten that I've already talked to them. Either that or maybe they just... I feel like it's a little more game-breaking that they have that opportunity to repeat themselves. Because the writing is good enough to be memorable. And I don't feel like you need to have access to old dialogue in order to remember it. <clears throat> At least the stuff that you were interested in. Um, so I have Karma from the last mission. And I had some saved up from the mission before that. My goal, my immediate goal right now is to make it to Chi Casting 7. So I can equip that bonded uh, spell Killing Hands and Stride. It's so funny that, um, to be perfectly honest, thinking about it now, I would have rather stopped getting points in Chi Casting right here at Stride. I would have saved 10, plus 12, 22, plus 14, 36. Would have saved 36 Karma if I stopped at uh just try it. And killing hands, I haven't been using it that much. It's only an extra... Like, at its fullest potential, it's an extra 7 damage, I think. I think it's an extra 3 damage by default, and then an extra 4 when you activate it. But with 36 karma, I could've just put all that into strength. An extra 3 strength, that would give me extra accuracy. Yeah. Sometimes the games are not balanced. I'm not going to claim that it's not super balanced, but there's been a lot of things about the balance of the game that have bothered me. That might just be my own opinion though. 
So yeah, I can't I can't make any make use of this sword ability. So it just makes more sense for me to take the extra willpower first, since that gives me more magic resistance. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to increase my chi casting first. Since sometimes options come up that require these specific abilities. And also some spells require chi casting at a certain level. So I can use Mystic Armor now, that'll give me a, a one passive armor. Lightning Strike requires uh, seven. This, this is another thing that I want. Because it's a zero AP attack. So this really isn't that good. This uh, Celestial Manifest actually might be pretty good though. Because it's got 8 armor pen and 12 damage. So if I think about it, a target with 8 armor, is this is virtually a 20 damage attack. Once you consider the armor. Yeah, I might just buy that Celestial Manifest. Because it'll be 20 damage, or it'll be 12 damage, plus, um, I don't know. I don't know if my strength gets added to this. That's the real problem. I feel like it doesn't. new here. I need higher close combat to be able to use those so just have to wait. This is what I really want like it's it's so good. Mystic armor probably would not hurt though. What would I replace? No, I think I just got another spellbook slot. I don't know, there's really nothing I want badly from here. I'm gonna hold off on the manifest because the um, lightning strike is more deserving of that spell slot because I only have a limited number of spell slots anyway yep so nothing for me to buy this time Let's see, I've got two, I can either go to MTR, which is what I'll call the main quest, or I could go to Nauchi for the side quest and get some more karma. I'm definitely going to go to Nauchi, and I did say that I would be ignoring the other vendors that I don't really use a little bit. Slightly more of them. I do actually want to go and check out um, the Cyber the Chrome Alley. And this is only for the sake of um, in other playthroughs. I guess I don't have to do this on camera, but on other playthroughs, 
I'm toying with the idea of um I'm toying with the idea of having an adept that uh uses cyberware eventually. In in order to get strength enhancement. So I wanna periodically check this place. And see what kind of um see what kind of cyberware pops up. This guy is acquainted with a lot of people. Alright, I don't want to get too far into his story because I'm sure I'll do it when I um when I finally do decide to get cybered up. As a matter of fact, I'm only gonna do this one more time on this playthrough and I'll just investigate his um his wares when uh when I'm actually on the character that's gonna take cyberware. So I'm basically just looking for expensive stuff, because those tend to be the best. I don't want to read everything here. Where it reflexes, plus one movement. When triggered, plus one AP. That cost zero AP last two rounds. Oh man, that's <sighs> that's crazy. Where it reflexes is definitely one of the coolest. Um, Cyber enhancements, even in the real game, in the tabletop game, I've always been obsessed with wire reflexes. 5,000 for pretty much a cyber brain enhancement. 2,000 for the whip. Fourteen damage is pretty good though. Like just 14 damage flat out. That's a lot compared to all the karma I invested into um, strength to get that much damage. This requires cyber affinity. That looks like a four. This gives me plus one strength. That's alpha wear. Alpha War is generally some of the better, um, I think Alpha War is like the top notch stuff. Bioware tends to be less essence intrusive, but it um, generally isn't quite as strong as Alpha War. And I'm sure, actually a lot of these are really good. Taylor Pheromones. Plus one dodge and throwing weapons. This might be good for my other character that I'll eventually build. Plus one dodge, plus one quickness. That's pretty good too. Oh, so skin is actually a separate category now too. Oh, that's actually really nice that I just found that. Because I didn't know if I click on any of these empty slots, it'll filter down to what types can go into that slot. That's super helpful. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is super duper helpful. Wow, an anti-magnet arm. I mean, anti-grenade arm. Plus one throwing weapons. This is really good. Plus one quickness and plus one strength. So I guess I can get one of these for each leg. It's pretty crazy. Is there anything that gives me passive movement? A lot of these have active movement boosts. Nope, they're all active. Yeah, and this reflex trigger is pretty crazy too. I went over that in another episode. So strength plus four. So the the spur is possibly the most damaging strength based weapon. I don't think the filament. I don't think the whip. The whip might increase with strength. I don't know, I'll have to try that out some other time. There's a Cyber Spur with plus 6 damage? No AP damage and 3 armor pen. That is actually crazy. That's ridiculous. This might be the thing to use for my next um, physical adept. If you can stand it. Cyber affinity for critical chance. Alright, it's been long enough. I will not bore you anymore. Honestly, I'm getting kind of bored. So, I might, um, in the future, if I can't find anything to do I might just make these uh, town episodes a lot shorter I have a feeling though once I start progressing in the main story again um, new dialogue options will open up so thanks for tuning in catch you next time